Wow, what can you say? What can you say? Tiger Woods has just won after five years almost of oblivion. I mean, the guy has literally come back from it's Hollywood stuff. This is this is this is Rocky Seven. It's incredible to see what an achievement. Uh, I think before I go too much further in congratulating Tiger, I've also got to eat a little bit of humble pie and just have a little bit of a look at this where I said it was about 18 months ago. I mean this thing, 41 years of age, three back surgeries, four knee surgeries, the amount of young kids that are out there on the tour that are absolutely smashing the ball around at the moment. My own personal opinion is that I think that as much as everybody wants and likes the idea um, of Tiger winning again. I think in reality, I don't think we'll ever see Tiger Woods win a golf tournament again. Gladly go back to this video in six months time when he's probably going to win something. <laughs> Could I have got it more wrong? And I don't mind admitting it was wrong either. And I'm really pleased to say that, yeah, I'm happy I got it wrong because it's an incredible story. At that time when I made that comment as well, Tiger Woods had struggled to put literally two tournaments together back to back, almost two rounds together back to back. The injury situation that he had was, I mean, it was, it was career threatening to say the least. And at that stage, I honestly still stand by what I said then. My thoughts were Tiger Woods would never win a game. How wrong was I? Um, it's just phenomenal to think that where he's come from, even to be quite honest with you, even 12 months ago, 10 months ago, would you have thought this would have been possible? I'd have still said no, because I think there's a number of elements you've got to consider. Physically, I thought that was the that was the real problem that he had. Physically, he couldn't put the kind of pressure on his back that was needed to hit the ball, golf ball, and compete at the top level. That had been my first major thing that I didn't think possible. Whatever's happened since then, he's obviously gone through a lot of rehabilitation, and that bit is fixed, hopefully. But there's a bit more to it than that for me because with five years out of the winner's circle. There's a lot of things that would I would have thought would have been impacted on. And I didn't think even if he got back in terms of physically, whether or not he could compete again mentally, how much the game had moved on, how much, how much more competitive the game had become in, in terms of the wide range of players that were out there at that top end. But once again, that was completely wrong. I mean, the guy, he's come back, he showed lots of form over the last probably three, four, five months. And clearly his game was going somewhere. But yesterday, the big thing for me was, as much as well as Tiger did in terms of his playing performance, it was once again, for me, the impact he had on others around him who could not step up to the mark. Rory being the main one there yesterday was really disappointing in terms of his final day performance there. Um, but Tiger effectively won relatively easily. Um, he was in control pretty much for the whole of the round. And bearing in mind the situation he's been in and where he's been through, I mean, I can't imagine the emotion he was going through for those, certainly for the last sort of four or five holes. Uh, the guy is so mentally tough, it is unbelievable. Once again, you've seen him walking through those crowds of players and he's in that zone that nobody can move him from. Uh, it was the Tiger Woods of old. And like I said, it's very hard to knock him off the top spot once he's in the lead and he's playing in that kind of form. If you're chasing him, you're going to struggle. And it was unbelievable. And like I said, my question of this video and why I put this video out is, yeah, is he the greatest of all time? Um, that's something for you to answer. That's a question I want to pose. Uh, is he the greatest golfer of all time? It's certainly one of the greatest comebacks I've seen uh, of all time. Like I said, it's, uh, it's pretty phenomenal. It, it's Hollywood stuff. Uh, but the next, I want to ask one more question for this video as well. And again, my answer would have been 18 months ago, completely not a chance in the world. But I'm now, going to, I'm now asking this question. Can Tiger Woods return to become the world number one again? And believe me, I've now changed my mind. And my answer would be, yes, he can. Without doubt, I'll never doubt that again. I'd never be that stupid. He literally has shown to me with his, obviously physically, if he can remain physically intact, uh, which fingers crossed he does then, I, I find it he's got every chance to return to number one because like I said what he has as much as a, as the ability the playing ability it's the mental strength that the lad has uh, which 
blows me away to be quite honest and I think blows away a lot of the top players when they're pitched up against him um, I don't know how it affected Rory yesterday it certainly seemed to on the outset um, but yeah absolutely phenomenal performance well done Tiger well I take I haven't got that on but I would take it off if I did well done congratulations uh, but yeah for the comments box just uh, is he the greatest of all time and will or can he return to number one there's a couple of questions for you Anyway, see you soon.